Hello and welcome to Team Liquid Strategy Guide Series for Amir Jassil, The Dream's Hope. I'm Aya, and today I'm presenting Telegon's breakdown of the mechanics and strategy for Mythic Council of Dreams. There are several ability evolutions on Mythic Council. Firstly, the bosses are now able to use two of their ults at the same time, increasing complexity. Secondly, if the bosses are not killed in a 15 second window, their rebirth cast will heal the defeated boss to 100% HP and result in a wipe. Thirdly, Poisonous Javelin now causes a small explosion around the debuff player upon removal or expiration. Fourthly, Pip's Emerald Winds now cause tornadoes to spawn around the play space. Two of the bosses constantly jump around and fly around the arena, while Erkdos, the bear, moves according to his active threat target. While Erkdos does have more health than the other bosses, you'll likely not have to intentionally cleave off of him due to him having more natural uptime. For assignments, you'll want to create two soak groups for barreling charge. Place a raid marker early on in the fight and a blossom to leave active in the center of the room as a solution to Pip's ultimate, Song of the Dragon. You will also likely want to assign a couple players to duck themselves as necessary to remove extra blossoms, reduce raid damage, and to ensure you can cancel blind rage quickly. You will want to either live call shortly before or assign a player to be ducked to cancel Urktos's blind rage. The timings on this fight can be fairly challenging due to the double ultimate casts and tertiary ability overlaps. The most difficult combination is Song of the Dragon and Constricting Thicket combined with Barreling Charge. You will want to have one Blossom remaining near the middle of the arena for everyone to stack in and remove the Song of the Dragon Absorb, leaving enough time for the appropriate Soak Group to move into the charge and reduce the resulting damage while also interrupting the Constricting Thicket channel. Urktos's active tank needs to clear their Song of the Dragon Absorb immediately, so they are easily able to aim his charge at Erwin to ensure her Constricting Thicket channel is stopped. Noxious Blossoms have by far the most potential to deal damage to your raid, so ensuring that you remove Blossoms that are unnecessary for Song of the Dragon is essential. Poisonous Javelin targets should be sure to move away to be dispelled and should also be prioritized by healers. Thundering Impact, Constricting Thicket, and Emerald Winds all deal moderate damage, but as long as you soak and stop Thicket, it should never feel overbearing. By far the most important parts of this fight are meeting the ultimate mechanics checks and removing extra Blossoms. If you do both these things, you shouldn't have much trouble defeating Mythic Council of Dreams. With that, we very much hope you found this guide useful. Please feel free to leave feedback or commentary below, and make sure to keep your eye on the channel as more guides will be coming out soon. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one.